Bruno here at the Heroes of Fantasy San Antonio Rira Regional with Whoa! First place! <laughs> first place, baby! Yeah. Back to back. Back to back. Hey, What'd you play today, man? So we played a variant of the um, deck I played in Portland called uh, it's like an Orcus Guard Dragon thing. Um, it just helped play through uh, a lot of the stuff that came out with the Megatons and stuff like that that um, that people are worried about with uh, uh, things breaking combo and stuff so I just felt like combo was still had such a high ceiling and I didn't want to just play control and like just lose to random BS because I feel like that's when you don't have control of the game or like I get a control but like when you are playing control you're passing back and forth a lot and like they can just randomly out your board and like I, I feel like that's just I want to end the game fairly quickly and I want to make sure that like look like you have answers or not and we're gonna go to the next game if you don't so but that's the whole plan of today that uh, was going to like your shout outs in the beginning uh sure uh shout outs to all of san antonio anthony reyes eric burgos uh blake hector max eric cam what's up cam how you doing avery avery was a good one yes i did say your full name uh, <laughs> adrian Everybody. The rest of so, Team Daily Grind. The rest of Team Daily Grind. Alex Bergeron, Christian, Denny, um, Denny, Vu. Denny Vu. Uh, you're at home. You're a lame ass. No, I'm kidding. But like, <laughs> no, but like all of SA. I appreciate it. The whole family community here is pretty yeah, nice. We'll so. Provide the links to your channel. Yeah. Below. Yeah. Appreciate it. We can get into it. Yeah. yeah. Sure. So it's a ib deck. So you just play uh, the Draco Nets, the Mathematician. Uh, you'll see why I play two of these. This card is not that bad to draw um, because you do it with this. So it's just the same thing. Oh yeah, and then one more. So it's like Snake, Nessie, that. You can still do full combo if you do uh, Galaxy and that. So that's why I play two of these. It's not that bad to draw. Any reason why uh, you didn't play Bigfoot? Um, there's a lot of back row going on in my opinion regarding to like Striker, Ultra Guys, uh, Salad even. And I just feel like if you twin and hit that, with, with pitch this, it's a uh, removal of three back row. So it's like essentially like a mini heavy storm if you want to take about it. So like. This came in a, a clutch a lot today with the Twin Twister pitch. Uh, it just cleared a lot of back row so you could play through the board. Like, your idea is just to go first and second. So, yeah. I mean, it's a or Orcus Guard Dragon, so you play your Orcus engine. Uh, one's fine. Um, you only play one of this to reborn the target, and two of these just in case you draw one. Pitching one is pretty nice, so it's not, I mean, it's nothing changed from the Portland list, so um, those are the ratios I played. You could play one more of these if you wanted to, but I opted just to play that. Um, the hand trap lineup is just this, and then I took out Ogre because I just felt like combo might not be a thing or like might not be as heavy representing right now, so I just took it out to make room for like extenders pretty much. Um, the one ofs in this deck. You need these to go off on your combo plays, and these are just really nice extenders. This card OTKs a lot. Uh, everyone's playing Orochi in their Orcus deck or going second attack Orcus. It's just an extra 2400 beat stick that can just seal the game. Like, if you do 24, 24, 26, and 24, that's pretty much 8,000 on board. So, uh, that's the idea with Orochi. Um, drawing him sort of sucks when you're trying to combo off first because you don't really want to banish eight. But regardless, he's worth playing and he's worth having in your deck and accessibility to your deck. So yeah. Plus, like if you send it, you boost all your monsters by not all your monsters, but like a monster you select with nightmare by eight hundred, and that's really good. So um, these are all the monsters I played. The next will be spells. Uh, the spell cards are just. I mean, you're playing combo deck, so you need call by the graves. Three twins, because I just felt like a lot of back row decks are alive right now. Control decks are alive. Um, this is the reason why I sort of play uh, double Galaxy Serpent. It just is an extender to help you push through boards and uh, you know do your plays. Um, Resign at Minings to get to your God card Draco Net. Draco Net is just the full combo, pretty much. Uh, this and this is this is good for baiting Ash. And this is good for also baiting Ash and you just summon Draco Net. So that's the same thing from like Portland. You want to bait your cards out so you can just have access to your combo. Um, the one ofs are only four. Um, I took out Midfield Breaker to play this just because like, I mean, Midfield Breaker is cool, but like if you don't draw it throughout the entire tournament, like this card just blows out Striker, blows out Salad, blows out like back row decks and it helps you a lot. And you know, with this and this, it's like triple, triple back row removal kind of. And this helps you get an extender and you need this for Ib and these are just nice generic extenders, so. And then the only traps I play is Impermanence, Impermanence, and um, Orcus. Crescendo for the Orcus combo. Uh, this is just just to um, go second and be able to play, pretty much. So, I mean, it's a 45 card deck. People might not agree with that. People might say that this is bricks, these are bricks, these are bricks. They don't help you facilitate your combo, but like a lot of times having these just help you 
play through things. And that's the big idea. If, like you summon like a mathematician or you summon DracoNet, like you're not gonna play through things. And they're gonna negate it and you're gonna pass your turn and that's it. So this is the only reason why I played those decks. I mean I mean not decks but uh, these cards. And I mean people some people don't agree and then that's fine. So um, my extra deck this card's crazy. <laughs> Yo, that goes with the mat. Yeah, it goes with the mat. She's um, she's insane. Yeah. Um, the combo ends on her, and it's pretty nice. Um, this card's also really nice for uh, throughout the combo. You uh, go into him, uh, you get rid of your dragons, and uh, you know look at their extra deck, get information, and still like you know go How off many, and like. Uh, certain venoms did you like hit with that? Too? Uh, I ripped two instant fusion. I mean instant fusion. Super folly targets. I also ripped uh, instant fusion targets too. And like their thousands eyes. Like if they don't play super folly, you can take their thousand eyes, and you know their instant fusion is a great. Um, the nightmare package. It's just to to have versi uh, what is it a variety, and just to like make sure you're able to play through things. That's the only reason why we play three of these. Um, the guard dragon package. I don't really play. Um, I, I'm not really. I don't play the um, Soryuja at the moment because we want to play with her right at the moment because of all the the sideboard cards and everything that's coming out and like you know with the tin promos and all that. She's better to go into than whatever this is. Um, I mean not whatever, but what, what, instead of the skull uh, skull dread. So, and then the Orcus engine. Well, this is part of. Sorry, this is part of the. Guard, yeah, the Ip combo. Um, What's the reason behind uh, not playing a crystal deck? I mean, you need an extra out to negate things. I think Crystal Wing, if they just bait one card with all like Dark Ruler no more and everything else, they, it's so easily out. Like you can bait that card. And you just need an extra just generic negate. So like, a lot of times you're going to hit this and you're super, you know, trying to take their super poly out, target out anyway. So it's just like it's dead. So um, that's why I play this over uh, the reasoning for that. Uh, and then this is just the generic um, Orcus combo. Uh, it just helps you facilitate into your broken board, to your hard negates and uh, rear currents next turn. Usually when you get the full combo going and you have Orcus board plus Guard Dragon board, a lot of times they just scoop or they're just like, I can't break the board. So, And then the last card is Link Spider. Um, the reasoning behind that is just to try to play, yeah, just to help with the combo. You play Vanillas. Um, and it just gets you to a one card. Like if you open Unspread Eye with like a vanilla, you get to do nightmare plays, etc., and like play around things pretty much. So that's why you play Link Spider. Um, this is the extra deck pretty much. And the side is just generic side. It's nothing like special. I mean, you can work on it. I, you can take things out. I don't think whatever's in there is correct. I mean, I played Namiru because. I still respected uh, combo decks. Um, I still felt like a bunch of Orcus are running around, a bunch of Sally's are running around. Uh, Did you this, even, uh, drop this against you? Uh, I played through it once, um, but uh, more often than not, I don't think. Um, not I don't think. I, I didn't get Nibiru too much today, um, but it's still a, definitely a good card. Um, the solid person I played played Will, so he sort of played through this. So like, um, people are playing like three Wills just to play through Nibiru. So that they can still keep going um but it's still good to like clear the board and you still have to like waste more resources to establish things uh, i still think that's a good card to play um mind control is still crazy you take their yeah it's just a one for one uh the, the attack orcus deck mains three of these i side three of these going second it's it's as good as everyone seems like you just take their um what they usually it's sky striker with shizuku uh wolf um even guru you just take their monster you can take it uh, even if they're face down, you can just take it. It just says target a monster, take it. Re regardless of face up or face down. So you can just take their Guru, you can take um, Ultra Guy's cards, it's crazy. So this card's overall really nice. Um, I wanted to go first and do something impactful. Obviously this. Uh, Did you uh, actually activate this one? Uh, no. <laughs> I didn't play a lot of... I played two Strikers, so by the time like I was able to try to side these in, most of the striker players wanted me to go um, second anyways, because they're just like afraid of the board. And like, they're just like, oh, if I don't open anything, I lose. So I just opted to go uh, side second, regardless of like what they're trying to do. And yeah, so I never really got to side these in. The idea was just to like blow out striker, blow out like Mystic Mind decks, because like Mystic Mind is rough for this deck. And like, they bait your negates and they just Mystic Mind you. It's like GG, so. <laughs> Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, exactly. This is like an extra Twin Twister. You end on big dark targets and you just blow up their spell cards. It's fine. Um, Red Reboot for trap decks just came up a lot because it's control decks. And then uh, I still love this card. This card is crazy. <laughs> you, uh, I took a Nibiru out of a guy's hand by setting Signet Mining and um, he didn't take my uh, one of my combo pieces and he just took like an Essie and I just comboed off. 
um, I took a Gamma Seal, which also like was detrimental because he had a mind, mind control and Gamma Seal. And like I took his Gamma Seal and like I obviously could negate the mind control. And it was a solid player and he died because I just full comboed him again. And like it's crazy. Like you just set the ex you set the card or you just I mean, if you unfortunately draw like Draco Net or something like that, you just try to activate it and see if it works. And if it does work and you um, I have a um, Max here. He uh, resolved Draco Net and then he exchanged for an impermanence because the guy wanted to wait to like negate other things. And he just exchange, exchanges the permanence and he just full comboed him and then oh, like killed him. He was so, so sad. Yeah, he was so sad. So it's like people don't really like people think this card is very cheese and they don't respect it. But like when it gets dropped on there, like their eyes wide, like they're just like, holy shit, what? What does that card do? Like, so it, it was great today. Like, so, but overall, I mean, yeah, it was a really good experience yeah, here. Well, so, hey, congrats on winning another regional. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll throw it all out. Yeah.